What do you think about the story? I really, really like it. You know why? Because it taught me how to see one thing differently. In this story, everyone lived very happily until the seed dropped in the garden, and it started to grow, and the roots. Bring disaster to everyone home, and then they decided to cut it. Right? So this is a problem for everyone. And then they decided to cut it. But what happened next? Do you remember? Who come to rescue the plants? Yes, it's little Jack. Here. Remember. He actually, when the seed comes down, he's the one who got. Let me see. Yeah, here the seed come down and crush his head. He's the first one feel unhappy about it, but it turns out he's also the first one who saved the plants. You know why? Because he see the plants will bring benefits, will bring good thing to the community. When everyone hate the plants, he tell everyone. When you see differently, you actually can see the benefits of it. Same thing happened to our lives too. And then, what we have to learn from the story is that when we see one thing that may bring us trouble and problems, try to see it differently. Like having a different perspective to look at the same thing. Here, let me tell you how I would do it. Get a paper and some pen or pencils or color pencils, anything that you like. So first, if you find that you have encountered a problem and make you angry and feel or feeling difficult, write it down. Perhaps it's like. Papa and Mama ask you to sleep earlier. Okay, so this is your problem.、Uh, you don't need to write the words. If you prefer, you can draw it. Okay, like Mama and Papa. Ask me to sleep earlier. Want me to sleep earlier? But I don't want to because now this is your problem. Now. We draw a line in the middle, and then put a sad face here. But put a happy face on the other side. Then you start to write down what do you feel, what makes you feel unhappy. Perhaps here.、Um, if I sleep earlier, I have no time to play my toy. One. I have no time to play my toy. And then, if I sleep earlier, I don't have enough time to finish my storybook reading. I like it. I like my storybook. I want to finish it, but I don't have enough time if I have to sleep earlier. Or, I'm actually watching video 
or games on iPad. But if I sleep earlier, I can't do it. I have no time again. So this is my serious problem. However, think about what Little Jack will tell you. He will come out and say, "Wait, is sleeping earlier really that terrible?" No, because now you have to think about if what is the good side of sleeping earlier. First, you feel really bright the next day after you have enough sleep, and very bright. Feeling bright will make you feel happy, and when you feel happy, everything look more beautiful. Second thing, because you sleep earlier, you wake up earlier too. This is your bed, and because you wake up early, you know what happened. You have more time, more time to do the things that you want to do last night. Like I can play toy, I can read, continue reading my books, or, but I don't encourage. <laughs> To continue your iPad reading, but you have to ask your parents' approval first. Okay, so if you sleep earlier, you can wake up earlier to do things that you like, and because you wake up early, you can leave home early to go to school. And what's the good thing about it? You have more time hang out with your good friend at school. Right, there are many more good things. So here it is. It's an example. Like maybe you have、uh, other problem, then write it on top. Put a line in the middle. Write an unhappy face. So be honest and write out every single thing that you feel that make you feel unhappy. At the same time, ask your little Jack in your heart, what's the happy side of this problem? Okay, so I hope you enjoy this video and like, comment, and subscribe will make me really happy. Thank you. See you next time.